Good evening. Hello, hi there. Hi, teacher. Hi, Marielos. Nice hey, to see you. Hey, Marielos, again. Irena. Hi. <laughs> hi, teacher. How are you? Good. Thanks. What about you? I am okay, I think. How is how is your how, everything? How is everything? <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. Well, the traffic bad as always. Yes. And now is very hot the weather. It's horrible. Yes. The weather, yes. And I hope uh more late late later. Later. Full rain. Yeah, maybe. It's yes. it's a little windy by my house, so maybe yes, it will rain. Okay. Here is very hot and there is not nothing windy. No, no windy. windy. No windy. No wind at all. Okay. No. Okay, okay. But we'll be there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see who's here. So, hello, Marielos. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Thanks. How about you? I'm okay. So, tell me what has been up with your life. Okay. <laughs> in these last days. Okay. Why? No. What? 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 In your life, what's new? Oh, uh, I was uh, waiting for the, the classes because we have um, many days of vacation. Yeah, it was a long, long vacation. Yes, a long vacation. And uh, like we lose the, the fluency. Yeah, well, you, you lose. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But everything, everything is normal. Everything okay? Nothing new? <laughs> yes, it's not <laughs> no new children. No. <laughs> I remember you have six, correct? Yes, yes. But I am an older woman. <laughs> no, you're not. You look, you look nice. You look young. Hello, Miguel. I see that you're new. Well, in this Hello. class. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. So um, I never seen you before. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Hey, there's Milton. Uh, no teacher in the last class. Yes, I'm sorry, yes, but you look different. What's different in you? It is for my hair. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh, it's true. Yes, sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, now I recognize you. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, but you did look different. <laughs> I, I live uh, a little more hair. You left, you left. I left a little more hair. Oh. All right. Hey, there's Sarah. So, so everybody's like back to normal. So did anybody do anything interesting in this last couple of days? Hi, good evening. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm fine. All right. Pretty happy because uh, today I I start my class. <laughs> All right, your English class. Yes, my English class. <laughs> All right, cool. Let me see. There's Sergio, David Rivas, Mayra, Irena. Irena, in what part, where are you in this moment? In Soyapango, Ilopango, or? <laughs> San Martin, teacher. Or San Martin, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, well, welcome back, class. Uh, it was a long, long vacation, right? Yes, yes, but the time running fast. Okay, yeah, very good. But in English, you say time passes by. Okay, time fast. passes by. 
fast. Fast. Yes. It, I mean, it's, it, because okay. in Spanish, it's running. I understand. But in English, it would be passes. Okay. Or you can say time flies. Ah, uh, yes. It's better. Yeah. The, the because it's a small, it's there is a small frost. <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> it's true. That, that doesn't, be, doesn't mean that I'm mm -hmm. a lazy person, teacher. No, of course not. <laughs> no, of course not. And let me see what's new with you, Milton. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm okay. And you? What's up? Very nice. Very good. I miss the English group. Yeah, you know, sometimes it's very relaxing, huh? It's like... Yes, very, very nice, but... It's necessary the class. It's true. It, it helps relax. Yes. Okay, let me see. Generally speaking, hold on, let me open up the um, portal. Okay, let me see who else is back. Hey, there's Miguel. <clears throat> there's Sergio, welcome back. Hello, Sergio. Mayra, are you there? Sure, good evening. And David Rias, Rivas. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Hello, Mayra. Hello. All right, David is- Hi, hi, teacher. Is that your wife uh, in that picture? Was your wife or your girlfriend? Uh, my wife. Wow, good for you. <laughs> Thanks. I don't think I have my wife in my pictures. <laughs> no, but that, that's good. Eight watch. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this. Look, do you see this? Yes. Yes. Oh, man. Hold on. This is so cool. Listen to this, watch. You see the speaker, right? Listen to this. Speaker. Hey, it's a smart speaker. Hey, oh, Google, oui. ¿qué hora es? Son las ocho, seis de la noche. <laughs> okay. I love this, watch, watch, listen to this. Hey, Google, ¿cuántos son 100 pesos mexicanos en dólares? I love this thing. Okay, it's good. cool. Hey, watch. Hey, hey, Google, cuéntame un chiste. Este chiste te va a encantar. Creo. Espero. ¿Cuál es la vocación artística preferida de la vaca? La música. Oh. Mm. Hey, Google, apagate. Hey, you know, it's so, but you know, it's very interesting because like all, all I have to say is like, oh, hey, put the alarm at five. Hey, remind me in the afternoon. It's, it's cool. I, I love technology now. <laughs> you know how sometimes you, you're looking for something like in, in, in the car, like you're looking for something maybe like, um, and like a, a car part. And then, and then you see the website is in Mexico. You go, oh man, pero esto es peso mexicanos. So then, you know, instead of saying, ¿cuánto es un peso mexicano? You just ask Google. But listen, do you have an Android? Do you have an Android cell phone? Yes. Yes, yes I have Android. Android. Do, you use, do you use Google Voice? Yes. Yes. I don't use Google Voice. It's the same thing. It's, it's like mm -hmm. what I'm, yeah, I really recommend you to do that because it's like, watch, hold on. Look, I have it here and I say, Alarma a las cinco y media de la mañana. Okay, ya se estableció mañana a las cinco y media. You see, it's the same thing, but people don't use that, but I really recommend you start using it, it's fun. It's interesting because, you know, when you're driving, hey, Google, how's the, um, Oh, 
Hey, Google, apágate. Es que that's the thing. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry, hold on. Okay. That's the thing that when, when, it, when it listens to the, to the name, it activates. Okay. So, okay, class, let's start. Let me share my screen with you. Do you see my screen? Yes. yes. All right. At the end of this lesson, I'm sorry, at the end of this section, participants will be able to practice using clauses and phrases showing contrasts and exceptions. Exceptions. Mm, there is a mistake. Yeah, there is. The, the word ex exception. It's not spelled right. Correct. Good. Good. Ah, pero ustedes llegan a hacer un error y ahí está. <laughs> the system. Okay, it says clauses and phrases showing contrast and exceptions. Here's correct. Look. Do you see this class? Look, here is wrong. Look, it says exception. This is not correct. This is correct. Okay, let me share sound. Are you ready? Let's do this. Hi, welcome to Advanced 3. You're about to learn how to show contrast and exception. Can you hear? Stay and pay attention to yes. the explanation. Yes, okay. teacher. Yes, and phrases showing contrast and exception. Use while, unlike, and in contrast to in order to present contrasting information, especially in writing. While the typical Italian person thinks the school is boring, the typical Japanese person doesn't. Unlike the Japanese, Italians seem to drink a lot of bottled water. In contrast to Italian drivers, Japanese people drive on the left. Use except that, except for, and except for the fact that to show an exception. Both like TV, except that the typical Japanese person watches more of it. Italian and Japanese people are fairly different, except for the age they get married. Japanese people typically consume less, except for the fact they drink more tea. The conjunctions while, unlike, and in contrast to show contrast between the information in two clauses of a sentence. For example, in contrast to most Americans, people here usually live with their parents until they are married. The conjunctions except that, except for, and except for the fact show an exception. Note, when conjunctions come at the beginning of a sentence, the two clauses are separated by a comma. We'll drive on the left. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's practice this. Let's, let's use while and unlike. Um, let's omit in contrast to. Do you know why? No. Ha have you ever heard someone say in contrast to? No. Yeah, nobody says that anymore. So everybody says only while and unlike. Okay, so let's let's do let's do while. When do we use while? What would be the perfect word, the translation for while in Spanish? Mientras. Mientras. Okay, yeah. Okay. So who can give like look, let me give you an example. So pretty much two actions are happening at the same time or happen at the same time. <laughs> yes. For example, let, let me tell you two actions happening at the same time. We use a ING. While I am working, my wife is sleeping. Um, I have a question. The while yes. I can use the, the first or the last. Both. Well, oh, actually, okay. no, the first or the middle. 
No, okay. The first on the metal. Yes. Like, listen to my example. While I am working, my wife is sleeping. Or I am working while my wife is sleeping. I am watching TV while my son is playing. Do you see the two actions happening at the same time? Totally different actions. Because if I say this, I am watching TV while my son is watching TV, it's not correct. Because we're doing the same action. Uh -huh. So we say my son and I are watching TV. Mm -hmm. But no, if my son and I are in the living room together, but we're doing a different action, we say while. I'm watching TV while my son is sleeping. Sergio, can you give me an example using while? For example, I could say, while the average people in El Salvador believe in God, I am atheus. Atheist. Atheist. Very atheist. good. For example. Yeah. Are you atheist? Not really. Oh, okay. Just an example. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, just an example. Oh, okay, mm, I'm atheist. Mm. Yeah, that's why I was. Yeah, I yeah. remember the. Yeah, that's why. That's why I asked you. Like, oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, like, listen. While. Okay, this is hot in this moment. While Shakira is crying, Pique is parting. <laughs> According de acuerdo to the press, right? Mm. Yes. All right, Gail, uh, Milton, give me an example. Uh, I drink, I drink to beer while the soccer game uh, starts. Mm, uh, that's not I, correct. I would start. That would be during. Because remember, while is an is. The action is in the same moment. But yeah, I see your point. I am drinking two beers while the game starts. Yeah, in that, in that okay. I am drinking beer while yeah. the game starts. That would be the yeah. correct way. Okay. All right. You're a Barca fan, correct, Milton? Should I have a, an example? <laughs> yes, of course, teacher. Uh, all right, Lewandowski is a devil, man. <laughs> it's a terrific play. I'm, yes, I'm very happy with him. Uh, yes, teacher, Juan Jose. Uh, teacher, do you hear me? Yes. Yes, please go ahead. Tell me the favor. I'm sorry. Tell I, me the I, I, I remember when I was um, studying uh, in 1986, when yes. happened in the earthquake, uh, I was um, drawing. I was drawing. I was... Um, um, making um, homework when happening the earthquake. Okay, that's not correct, Juan Jose. And I'm going okay. to explain. No, but it is, thank you for your example, and I'm going to explain to you why. Okay. Okay. The thing is, the difference between while and when. Okay. While and when. So we understand in this moment that while is when two actions are at the same time, right? Okay. Um, let me let me hear two more examples of while, and then I will explain to you why your example is not while, it's when. Let in, me see. In, in this case, um, should be when happened in the earthquake. When the earthquake happened. Okay. Okay. But I will I will explain to you why. That's, don't worry about it. Okay. Um, Miguel Lara, can yeah. you give me can you give me an example with while? Um, I even while my sister playing. I'm sorry. Please repeat. I'm eating my, mm -hmm. while my sister playing. Is playing. Is playing. Very good. And one more, Katya, give me an example. I'm sorry, Katya, before before you give me the example, have you traveled recently? Uh, no, but next <laughs> soon I will. All right. Where are you that, going? Uh, that Tuesday. 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to go. All right, good for you. I so, need uh, you can give me permission. Yeah, where are you going? I'm going to Machu Picchu. Oh my God. So next week, Katya will be I cold. I Yes. While we will be hot. With pain in my body. The hell is this? Walk a lot. That's okay. The hell was that? Can I give you the example, teacher? I'm sorry, hold on. Excuse me. Can I... Who's been touching my computer? Hold on, okay, I'm sorry. Can you, okay. Yes, give me an example, please. Okay. I am studying why my friends are resting. Okay, very good. Okay, so now we understand that, right? We understand that while is two actions at the same time. Correct? Yes, correct. All right, so let me let me see. Now let's go back to Juan Jose's example. Juan Jose said, I was studying when the earthquake happened. Yes. In the past. Okay. No, because it's, it's, it's okay, it can be in the past too. Yesterday, I was watching TV while my wife was sleeping. That's no problem. Okay. But in this case, in this case, I'm going to ask Juan Jose, and when the earthquake happened, did you continue studying? No. <laughs> okay, so then we use when, when the second action interrupts your action. Yes. <laughs> I run away. <laughs> okay. There you go. So, um, so I was studying when the earthquake happened. So what happens? You were doing one action, but the second action interrupted your action. Because yes. if, if not you, you were saying you would do this. Oh, I was studying while the earthquake was happening. So that means that you were like this. <laughs> and you continued studying and it's impossible. Yes. For example, I was sleeping when the phone rang. Beep, 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 beep. Wait. What? You see, the phone interrupted my action. That's when you use when. Do you understand, Juan Jose? Yes, it's clear. All right, cool. All right, let me see, let me see. Sara, can you give me an example? Of course. My example is why I am having my English class, my family is sleeping. Yeah, good. You see, while I'm having my family sleeping, two actions. Very good. Let me see, let me see. Miguel. Miguel, you look different today, too. What is different? My long hair. <laughs> you cut your hair? No, I didn't. And you know what's different today too, Miguel? Yeah. Miguel Franco or? Oh, I'm Miguel. sorry, Miguel Angel. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, an example. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry, Miguel Angel. Uh, very good. Today, you have a microphone. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, I, you don't hear Sorry. noise. No, no, very good. No, there's no noise today. Okay. Very good. Give me an example, Miguel Angel. Oh, uh, I am playing soccer while my wife uh, cooking the dinner. Okay, I'm playing soccer while my wife is cooking dinner. Very good. So we use while, when, two actions 
are happening or two actions happen in the same time? Okay. When Barcelona and um, Real Madrid play, some cry while others celebrate. Yes? Mm -hmm. You see, in, in that moment, I didn't use no ING. I just say some cry while others celebrate. Okay. You can use a uh, while uh, in simply pass or pass continuous. In yes, yes. Other times. Yes, okay. okay. Like your example was I am playing soccer while my wife is cooking. You can say it in pass continuous. I was playing soccer while my wife was cooking. Okay. I have a question. When I yes. use the while, um, the two verb is an ing, or or can or can be in present or past. Depends on what you want to say. Ah, uh, okay. Like, like right now, what are you doing? What is your husband doing? Mm. <laughs> now uh, he sleep. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. While while, while you uh -huh. I I am having my English class. Exactly. For, yes. uh, okay. There you are literally using present continuous. My husband's sleeping while I am having class. Then um, you can say simple present. You can say, I sleep while my husband, I'm sorry, my husband sleeps while I take class or while I have class. Okay. We can use different time, teacher. Yes, yes. Different tenses, no times. Different tenses. Uh, mm -hmm. In time? future, present, and past? That is tense. It, you see, the thing is that in Spanish, say se tiempos, but in English, you say tenses. Mayra? Hello, Mayra? Oh, I have a vaccination. Okay, no, no problem. In Spanish, we say tiempos. In English, we say tenses. Tenses, um, okay. Okay. Okay, does everyone understand while? So it's simple. When do we use while class? Yes. When the action is in the same time. Two actions, Two actions. are in the same Two time. In, in, in. Or are are happening. Okay, when two actions happen or are happening in the same time? Two actions happen. Okay. Two actions happen or are happening? For example, we are hot in El Salvador while Canada is freezing. Simple present. Okay, next we have unlike. When do we use unlike? When it's a contrary. Teacher, unlike is different than dislike. Yes, dislike is I don't like. Okay, unlike. Unlike, contrary. unlike is, yes, you're different. Different, okay. For example, in, in my blog, I am, I am very talkative. I talk a lot. I talk to all my neighbors. You know, like, hey, hello, neighbor. How are you? Hey, cool. If I see my neighbor that needs help, hey, do you need help, neighbor? And unlike my wife, my wife is more serious. You see, I'm not necessarily saying that's bad. I'm just saying it's different. Yes? Yes. But listen to this. I like Barcelona, unlike my father likes pizza. 
<laughs> Does that make sense? It's incoherent. Correct? So it has to be a mimo tema, the same thing. I like Barcelona while unlike my father, he likes Real Madrid. Pobrecito esta señora. Qué culpa tiene. You know. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. But, you, but you, okay, um, Mayra, give me an example. Mm, okay, I like Mexican food, but I like Chinese food. Mm, I don't understand what you said. First of all, you need two subjects here. Mm, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You said I like Mexican food, right? Yes, I no, huh? unlike Mexican food. Okay, I'm sorry. That, that's the thing I don't understand. Did you say I like or unlike? Um, unlike. Okay. Can you, can you give me an example one more time, please? Okay, unlike, unlike Mexican food, um, I like Chinese food. Oh, okay, okay, good. Okay, I understand now, good. Mayra, this is a good example. El ejemplo de Mayra estuvo muy bueno, pero me confundió un poco porque tiene que ir un poco de carácter, Mayra. Así, por ejemplo, unlike Mexican food, I like Chinese food. Eso quiso decir, ¿verdad? Oh, okay. Do you see the difference? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so you say, uh, now I understand what you're saying. Like, unlike Mexican food, I love Chinese food. Yes? Can you do it? Can you repeat? Unlike Mexican food, um, I love Chinese food. All right, good. So, Sergio, would you invite Mayra to a Mexican food restaurant? No, because she doesn't like Mexican uh -huh. food. She doesn't. And she emphasizes she doesn't like. Yeah. Because she emphasizes how much she loves Chinese food. So maybe the love she has for Chinese food is the same hate maybe she has for Mexican food. All right, very good. Very good example, Mayra. Thank you. Who, Mayra, choose someone. I'm not going to choose. You choose someone. Okay, Milton. All right, Milton. Why? Why? Tell me. Tell me. Give us an example with while. While? Or yes. Or unlike while? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, unlike. Unlike, okay. Unlike the Salvadorian, Panama, they have uh, many people of color. Excellent example. Excellent example. Very good. Thank you. So that's in El Salvador, we don't have colored people. Yes. Y sabe que irónicamente los, los, la gente de color somos nosotros. Yeah. Yeah, eso dicen los negros porque dicen, ahí, ahí hay unos que prefieren que les digan negros porque dicen, ustedes se van al sol, se queman, se ponen rojos. Bomi, se enferman, se ponen morados. Cuando les da asco, se ponen verdes. So, we change colors. Ellos siempre son eh, negros. Yeah. Nice. Tipo color. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Milton, choose somebody, please. Eh, Maria Luz. Maria Luz. Okay. Um, All 
I'm sorry, excuse me one moment, please. Okay. Who's been touching my computer? I'm sorry, some somebody touched my computer because many things are popping. I'm sorry. Hold on, let me erase this. Thing. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Marielo. Okay. I like I like my English class. Um, unlike my my friend, um, I, she she likes uh, French. French, okay. But I don't understand. Are you comparing your friend to an English class? Why French? Okay. Remember, you, that's similar to the example I gave you that I said, oh. uh, I like Barcelona, I like my father, he likes pizza. Okay. It's, it doesn't make sense. So, oh wait, I see your point. I like English class, unlike my friend, she likes French class. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes. Okay, can you repeat please? Okay, I like my English class, unlike my friend, she likes French class. Okay, good. Here's a good example. Okay, Marielos, um, class, this is a good example. I prefer to drive stick, unlike the majority of people prefer automatic. Did you understand my example? Yes. Yeah, as he says, I, standard or stick. You say, I prefer to drive stick, unlike the majority of people that prefer standard. All right, Marielos, choose somebody, please. Miguel Franco. Miguel Franco. Okay, hello, teacher. All right, go ahead. Okay. Unlike my song, exercise in a gym, I prefer to exercise outdoor. I'm sorry, can you repeat, please? I like my son prefer exercise into a gym. I prefer to exercise outdoor. Unlike my son. Yes, unlike my son. Okay. Exercise okay. in a gym. I prefer to exercise outdoor. Okay, I understand now. Okay, class, but let's, estoy, estoy, con, no confundan, I like or unlike. Pronuncien esa N, unlike. 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 Very good. Good, good example. I understand now. Yeah. Unlike my wife, I prefer indoors. What do you understand by that? What do you think my wife likes? Your wife likes go out. <laughs> yes. yes. The contrary, my wife likes outdoors. Yes. My wife likes volcano or camping. I like a room and TV. <laughs> I like my house. Mm -hmm. I don't like camping. Okay, very good. All right. Uh, Miguel Franco, choose somebody, please. Okay. Sara Martinez. Okay, my example is I'm like when, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm like the sad people. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. No, it's not I'm like, it's unlike. unlike. You're pronouncing M. I'm like. No, it's N, N, unlike. I'm, I'm like, like. Do you like. see me? Do you like. do, do you see me? Look, don't close your mouth. Unlike. Unlike. Un -like. 
Se oye así, Sara, you sound like this. I'm like. Like, like you I'm not, like. I, I, I am listening to an M. And it's an unlike there. Unlike. Mm -hmm. Unlike the sad people, but I like a happy people. I don't understand. Can you okay? Unlike the sad people. But I like a happy people. Mm -hmm. hmm. No, I don't understand. No como la gente gorda, pero me gusta la gente feliz. That's what I understand. Um. Do you understand what is unlike? Yes, unlike is um it's the contrary of the second example. Like look, let me give you the, the example one more time. Listen to how easy it is. Unlike my wife, que dije ahorita. Uh, diferente a uh -huh. unlike my wife, I like indoors. Do you understand what is indoors? Indoors. Activi indoors? Yeah, ac activities indoors. that you do inside, like movies. Oh. Yeah, indoors is interior, no? Interiores, yes. So what does that tell you about my wife? Um. She prefers outdoors. So what do you think I prefer? Do you think I prefer a volcano or the movies? Um, volcano? You think I prefer a volcano to the movies? Yes, I prefer the volcano. Okay, listen to my example again. Unlike my wife, I prefer indoors. Okay, wait, wait a moment. Uh, I'm like, Take your time and analyze. Let me let me give another example. Unlike my wife, I prefer corn pupusas. Bye. Teacher, okay, you can Unlike my daughter cry, and I. Sara, listen to my example. Unlike my wife, I like corn pupusas. So what do you think my wife likes? Pupusas. No, you're not, listen to, listen to the key words. The important here is unlike. What is unlike, class? Diferente a. Okay, so there you go. Listen, Diferente. unlike my wife, o sea, temas pupusas, right? <laughs> unlike my wife, I like corn pupusas. Okay, diferente a mi esposa, quiere decir? Mm -hmm. eh, que usted... Eh, la pupusa. Corn, corn pupusas. There are only two types of pupusas. There is corn and rice. 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 Corn, rice. maíz, rice, arroz. Rice, arroz. Ah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So la what do you... Okay, now I'm going to repeat. Listen. Unlike my wife, I like corn pupusas. What do you think my wife likes? Um, I know, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Solo, solo hay una opción. Rice. 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 Exactly, yes. There's only one option. 
O sea, yo puedo decir, I like rice pupusas and my wife likes, I'm sorry, I like corn pupusas and my wife likes rice pupusas. I can say like that. I can say two different sentences. Or I can say, I like corn pupusas unlike my wife. Se explica solo, con solo decir unlike. It's obvious, it's the contrary. Teacher. Yes, Irena, tell me. And it's correct to say, unlike the most of people, I prefer go upstairs. Yeah. Okay. But depends, where are you? On the first floor, and I have to go to the fifth floor. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, it's understand that the, most of the people prefer to use the elevator. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Unlike most people, I prefer to drink water in lunch. Yes, because estoy dando entender que people in lunch, su fresco es, es obligation, right? Es como, si no hay fresco, no. No va. Yes. Uh -huh. Or La, a Coke. Or a soda, yes. But I don't know why. Unlike most people, I prefer water. ¿Qué dije? A diferente de la gente, yo prefiero water. Ah, water. 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 <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, it's it's uh, valid. Let me give you an example like that. Unlike my friends, I prefer um, liquor. Okay. Um, you can hear my example. Yes. Unlike my husband, I prefer soda. Exactly. So your husband doesn't like soda, maybe. Or not very much. No. Um, it's more very much me can in here. Okay. In he, in, in he. It's like my friends, unlike my friends, I prefer liquor. So what do you think my friends drink? Beer. Beer. All right, very good. All right, who's next? Sara, choose somebody. Okay. Um... Sorry. Um, Mayra? Mayra, Mayra, Mayra. Mayra Asensio? But I think Mayra already passed. Okay. Somebody who has not participated. I think it's David Rivas, JJ, and JJ. Sergio, I think. Juan Jose Avalos. Okay. <clears throat> Um, <clears throat> unlike than me, my daughter prefers volleyball. I'm sorry, can you repeat, please? Unlike than me, my daughters prefer volleyball. Unlike than me, I'm sorry, after unlike, what is the next word? Than me, or um, a diferencia de mi. Okay, unlike me, unlike me. Uh, uh, unlike me, only unlike me. Yeah. Okay. Unlike, unlike me. no, but listen to this. It's two different words, unlike me. Okay. Repeat. Unlike, unlike me, my daughter prefers volleyball. Vo volleyball. Yes, sport. All right, All right good. All right. Mm -hmm. So I imagine you prefer what, soccer or something, right? Yes, my daughter plays. Oh, volleyball. okay, good, good. Y miren, y esto no necesariamente significa que no le gusta a usted. I Entonces, like it. I like volleyball. Yeah, me too. I like volleyball. But yeah, I prefer soccer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's like it's like the pupusa example. My wife, she eats corn pupusas and rice pupusas. But si ella paga, <laughs> she eats <laughs> she eats rice pupusas. All right. So unlike really is not is something different. Pero no es lo contrario, right? O sea, sí es lo contrario, pero no es like negativo. All right. All right, oh, Juan Jose, ask somebody, please. Oh, I don't know who less. I don't know. 
Just who has not participated? Me. Sergio and David Me. Rivas. Okay. Okay, David Rivas. <laughs> okay. Uh, and like my sister, my brother can drive truck trailers. All right, cool. All right. All right, excellent. Ask, I don't know, Miguel. Has Miguel participated? No, teacher. All right, ask, give Miguel, give us an example. Unlike my sister, I like watch TV. Okay, I like to watch TV, awesome. Okay, class, very good. Do you understand now the difference between unlike? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Or you can say it's shorter. For example, Mayra, Mayra Paricio. I forgot, are you married? Hello? Okay. Uh, Mayra Sensio. Yes, Aparicio. Ah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes, I am married. Okay, tell me something you like and your husband doesn't. Okay, unlike my husband, I prefer soda. Okay. Hoy lo podemos hacer más corto. I love soda, unlike my husband. I love, I love soda, unlike my husband. Good. Pero otra vez, Mayra, necesito personaje, necesito carácter en eso, porque... Si lo dice así, I love soda unlike my husband. No se oye muy. Eso es como cuando alguien dice, hola, buenos días, ¿cómo están? You need, you, yes. You need, you need, yeah, you remember in English, de verdad, el, el, I use your hand. Okay, teacher, you need yeah. my expression. Yes, you need expressions, yeah. I love, I uh -huh, use your hands. I really recommend you use your hands. It's, it helps. Like, uh, uh, uh -huh, so that was a good example. So I love soda, unlike my husband. All right, love, what about you, Miguel? Tell me something that you like and your wife doesn't, but short. I love play soccer in the city, unlike my brother plays soccer in the beach. You don't need to say the beach. You just say, I like to play soccer in the city, unlike my brother. Okay. So I understand that your brother likes to play soccer too, but maybe not in the city. He prefers someone else, something else. Yes, in the beach. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, let me see, Miguel Franco. Unlike my wife, I love um, uh, liver, vaca, liver of beef. I don't know oh, how to say. Liver. Liver, okay. He got, oh, it's good. Yes, yeah, it's good. With onion. Yeah. What about tongue? Nah, doesn't like. <laughs> oh man, I love that. Ubre? No. <laughs> All right. Katia, Monterosa, give me an example. Katia, it's your birthday? Um, the last month in oh. August. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. Because I see in the back, you know, happy birthday. <laughs> yes. My nephew okay, give me that gift. All right. Um, um why my sister unlike oh I'm sorry. Unlike my sister, I like um buy food. Okay, good. So I maybe I understand that your sister prefers to cook. Yes. And you prefer to buy. Okay, good. <laughs> You see, esa es la idea de unlike, que hagamos la idea de, yes, en vez de decir, 
My sister likes to cook. Unlike my sister, I like to buy food. So by you saying that, unlike my sister, I like to buy food. <laughs> cool. All right, let me see. Sara, give an example. Okay. I, I prefer pizza unlike my daughter. All right, good. What does she prefer? Uh, she prefer hamburgers. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> yeah, me, me too, I prefer hamburgers. All right. So do we understand now the difference? So let me see. Milton, what is the what, what when do we use while, Milton? While eh, when you you when the sentence in the in the same time, the difference in the same time. The difference in the same time. I, I see your point, but then two actions. The action, okay, excuse me, the action and the same time. All right, good. All right. And, and Marielos, when do we use unlike? Okay, let me see. Mayra Asensio, when do we use unlike? Okay, uh, do you use unlike? Uh, first, when doesn't like something, and the other hand, it could be um, different from. But Mayra, but I want you to imagine you're an English teacher. Imagine you're an English teacher. How can you explain to somebody in the easiest way if they ask you, teacher, what is, cuando estamos on like? <laughs> I like, um, I don't know. All right, who can help? Who can help, Mayra? When do we use on like? Okay, teacher. Others, Marielos? Okay, we use on like. Uh, when uh, we express some something different to another person. But maybe so different like, different is not the word. Maybe it's contrary. Contract. Ah. Yes, the contrary. Contrary, contrary. okay. Contrary to ideas? But yes. Yeah, for example, yeah, for, me, um, for me, um, for me, unlike is when I need to contrast uh, some ideas or some or some information. Yeah, but okay, good. But remember, contrary is not necessarily something bad. It's just something contrary. Yeah, like imagine I say, "Hey, I like Barcelona," unlike my father. So, ¿qué acabo de decir a mi papá? He's not a Barca fan. No, but my my idea my idea is contrast. Okay. But what Con, do you want to contrast? Contrast, uh, contrast, um, some information about. What? I don't know about uh, some activities or some preference. Is that the explanation you would give your students? Always, always do this. Always imagine you're a teacher. Always imagine you're a teacher. And somebody asks you that. Okay, what is, when do we use unlike? And you would say, it's a contrast of ideas of what? I'm sorry. I, I understand what you're trying to say, Sarah. I just want you to speak more. Um, unlike is when you contrast uh, 
two or one. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you see, don't complicate yourself. Yes, always remember, don't complicate anything. Just, just say, unlike is the contrary of the, op the, the objective of the sentence. Teacher, show another point of view. Yes, mm -hmm. it, which is a, it's a, it's a contrary. Yeah, but don't, don't, don't confuse with contradict. Because contradict, eso se llama malo, because. Um, and you can call like preference, teacher. Yeah, let me give an example. Contradict is this example, okay? I like, I like Bukele, y bien otro me dice, why? I like arena, man. You, you should like arena or you should like uh, FMLN. That's contradicting. And that, the, el próximo paso is an argument. <laughs> yes. Or you can say like, I like FMLN, unlike my mother, she likes, you know, unlike my mother. Ejemplo. <laughs> yes. Entonces, I'm saying my mother is the contrary. So, obviamente, my mother maybe is Arenera or Bukele or something. Yes, but we're not contradicting. It's just unlike. It's, it's the contrary. So, remember, it's not something bad. It's the contrary. It's only I, different. Mm -hmm, yeah. I prefer chocolate ice cream, unlike my wife. Maybe she prefers, or unlike my son, he prefers... He prefers uh, strawberry. Do you understand? Yeah. So remember, always do this. Les recomiendo es que hagan esto cuando al final del día, por ejemplo, Milton me dio una buena explicación. Siempre traten de explicarlo lo más fácil que ustedes puedan. Porque yo sé que cuesta cuesta dar esas explicaciones a las que todas nuestras vidas nos enseñaron. Unlike, we use unlike when the subject goes before the object in the verb is the contrary of the reception of the idea of the tenses, blah, 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 blah. Así nos enseñaron en inglés, really good. You know, like, okay. But I really, come on, man. <laughs> that big sentence, zip it. Yes, Sergio. Teacher. Keep it simple. Kiss. What is unlike? No, I'm sorry. What is while? While you use while when you want to clarify that two actions are happening at the same time. Okay. Good. David Rivas, when do we use? Unlike. Uh, you use unlike when when the option are contrary. Yeah. So let's do this. Unlike is when you're express is is the contrary of the opinion of you know of the action. <laughs> yeah. Hey, si yo digo. Okay. I drive to work, unlike my brother. ¿Qué dije? Yo conduzco el trabajo, mi hermano se va en bus. No, no dije, nunca dije bus. Mm. Ah, bueno, perdón. <laughs> no, no, está bien. So, I drive to work, unlike my brother. Dije, yo manejo mi trabajo, no como mi hermano. Your brother doesn't drive. Okay, maybe my brother doesn't drive. Or, or maybe, or maybe, or maybe he has a driver. Or maybe he has a driver, or maybe he takes Uber. We don't know. Or maybe he works at home. <laughs> yeah. I don't got it. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, there's know. there's many, there's many consequences. But if you want to keep it very simple, you just say, hey, I drive to my work. Unlike my brother, man. Yes. 
los que son hermanos mayores sufrieron eso, a que les tocaba a ustedes hacer todos los mandados. Mm -hmm. I do everything in my house, unlike my brother. Mm -hmm. Remember? <laughs> okay, class, then thank you very much and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, good tomorrow. Good tomorrow. Good tomorrow. Good tomorrow. Bye bye. Good tomorrow. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.